so that's why runners and specifically female runners are an excellent candidate for iron supplementation. Now, when we, we get into iron supplementation, it's much more nuanced than just say taking iron, you know, myself coming from a resistance training background, uh, we, we might recommend creatine supplementation or caffeine supplementation. And that's typically a, a pretty safe thing to recommend. With iron, it's not always a safe thing to recommend. So I think it needs to be careful, but that's the basic physiology, the transport of oxygen from the lungs to the muscle tissues. Uh, but understanding if you have low iron, iron itself is needed to replenish iron. So it's difficult to, to be able to uh, uh, do that process. Yeah, it sounds like it's um, if you have low iron, it can be quite a tough cycle to break out of. Is, is that true, Sarah? Yeah, I think uh, what can be challenging is figuring out, you know, first figuring out what exactly is the problem. So you need to get blood work um, to confirm if you have what type of anemia you have, if you're all the way to anemia or maybe just iron deficiency and then finding a treatment that's effective um, You know, for some people taking the supplementation for a few weeks will make a huge difference and they'll feel a ton better. Um, and for some people it turns into a more complicated problem. Um, so yeah, I think it can be a challenge for some people, um, to overcome. Yeah. Well, I mean, what are the symptoms of low iron? Because, you know, we're runners, we get tired because we run, you know, so how do we know it's not, I just ran too much and I'm just tired from overtraining or just had a rough day at work. You know, how, how do, what are the symptoms that kind of um, are hallmarks of iron deficiency? I think runners in particular will notice this before people who aren't usually running because you'll know whatever's normal for you. So on an easy run, you'll have an idea of what your typical pace is and you'll have an idea of how you feel on your usual runs. And um, when you become iron deficient, you'll notice, wow, this run used to be super easy and now I'm exhausted. Um, you should feel like on a typical run, it feels totally different. Um, and that, especially things like if you have one bad day, runners have bad days all the time. That's very normal. But if you feel like day after day, you're just really feel like you're dragging and you start to question, am I out of shape? Like, I didn't think I was out of shape. Um, you know, that kind of thing really is indicative. Um, feeling fatigue, weakness, sometimes dizziness. Um, and one unusual symptom, um, I actually know this one from personal experience, um, is that you can have what's called pica. Um, and that is where you like crave non-food substances. Um, and so whenever I'm really iron deficient, I crave ice. Like I, if I like see an ice cube somewhere, I'm like, oh God, that looks so good. I really want to eat ice cubes. And so that's always my like, oh, I got to go get my blood tested. It's time to go look at my iron. Um, Cause I happen to have that symptom when I'm iron deficient. 